everyone. I'm Kathy Barrow. I, uh, I'll tell you a little about myself. I used to live in New York City, uh, and I left New York City in 1980. Dates me. 1987, and moved to Mexico uh, because there was a wonderful job here. So, um, and because thanks to B and I, I've managed to come back in a very unique and special, strange way. I would like to thank Carolina uh, for this opportunity to play for you. And this is a concert I did last week in Mexico in Spanish, and I would like to, to play it for all of you. This is a piece I found online. Um, before I play it, I would like to say that it's amazing the stuff that you can find online these days. Uh, if, you, if you have a quartet and you're looking, I don't know, for like Beethoven 5 or something like that, um, you can find it. <laughs> it's really, it's really, really, it's really fun to see how many other crazy people who love classical music are around. But anyway, this is a piece written by, and I'm going to say the name wrong, Piotr Tomas Ari, Aris Mukik, um, that I found online, and it's called the Sonata in C minor. And it's absolutely, absolutely beautiful. It doesn't sound modern at all. It's, uh, it's, it's, a, it's an amazing piece. First movement. Is an andante. second movement is an adagio and before I um, play it I would just like to mention that this concert is in benefit of my string quartet it's called the Ars Music String Quartet and we had a whole mess of concerts coming up the, the quartet's about four years old at this point and we had and there was gonna be our best run ever it was it was amazing the concerts we had lined up and well <laughs> everyone knows what happened there so your contributions would be would be, would really help a lot.
I'd like to tell you a little about the paintings that are, that are behind me. It's a rather strange story. Uh, I'm part of a business network, for those of you who don't know, I'm part of a business network called, called BNI. It's a business network international. And in a very strange way, I went during, right now during lockdown, I went to a chapter meeting in San Diego and she introduced me to someone in India who said, oh, I've got a friend who lives in, who's in Mexico right now who paints beautiful stuff. Do you want to work with him? I said, sure. So, so here we are. <laughs> and um, his stuff is amazing. It's, it's, um, it's in a way wonderful that he's, he's here and, and um, here in Mexico and, and selling his, um, his things here in Mexico instead of in India. It's a, it's a nice way to bring Indian art to, to, uh, to Mexico. So, the next piece is Bach, and I'm going to tell you a story after the first moment. This is the second partita, and um, this is the first moment of the second partita, and it's called Alimanda. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
legend about Bach that, well, he had 11 kids, that's, a, that's not a legend. But um, there's a legend about him that he was sure he was going to become the Kapellmeister of where he was working. And uh, he was, he was, you know, you know, you, you know when you know you're going to get the raise, you know you're going to get the raise, and then it doesn't happen. And then you just sit there and what do you do? Well, what the legend has it, what Bach did, was he threw a temper tantrum, like, you know, this epic, epic temp temper tantrum. And um, so the Duke of the castle said, well, sorry, you know, I mean, you, you misbehaved, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to send you to jail for six months. And he was, Bach was like, okay, can I take my cello? <laughs> and so he took his cello, according to the legend, he took his cello and he wrote the six suites uh, for cello. And it's something that everybody, every cellist has to play, and the poor violists, because you know the violists have to play the violin ones, and they have to play the cello ones. The violists get you know double whammy there. Um, but there's not such a legend for the for the violin ones. But I, I just wanted to tell you that story because I think it's I think it's wonderful. Sometimes legends say more than the than the truth. is a piece that a lot of people use for encores. It's um it's absolutely absolutely beautiful. It's very hard to play live because it's very very delicate, but I'm oh, gorgeous. It's a sarabanda.
And I'm going to finish quickly because there's a huge storm coming, I can hear it. <laughs> it was really nice to be here with all of you, and uh, thank you, Carolina, for, for the invitation. Um, as I said, uh, donations would be very happily accepted. On the page that's listed here in the event, it's artsmusic.com. Uh, artsmusic <laughs> this is the first concert I've given in English probably in years. Uh, I hope my English was good enough. And to finish the concert, this is a, a jig. Um, it's the second to last moment of the second partita. Pleasure to be able to play for all of you today, and I look forward to having the same opportunity again sometime soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.